Hi, this is Steve Sexton with Sexton Advisory Group. Today we're going to focus on helping you stop the money from falling through the cracks on your tax return. Now, it's 2010. Next year is 2011. And then we have 2013. Why are those years important? It's because taxes are going up. If you're in a 15% tax bracket, you're going to stay in a 15% tax bracket. But if you're in a 25% tax bracket or higher, what's going to happen is your taxes are going to go up. In 2011, your taxes are going to go from 25 to 28%. And then 2013, they're going to go up to 31%. That's a 24% increase in your taxes. Now, so it's really very important to make sure you're not paying taxes on money you're not spending. The problem is that happens about 70% of the time. Now, looking at the board here, we see that most people on their tax return, they have interest income, they have dividends, capital gains, IRA and required minimum distributions if you're over 70, you have pensions and Social Security. That's a big problem when you have them all going on the one, on the one return. Now, <clears throat> for example, our clients Bill and D. Now, Bill and Dee have a $90,000 income that goes on to their tax return. It's all in this now bucket, okay? Problem is, is they have a $50,000 income need. So they're only spending $50,000. But here's the big thing. The pensions and Social Securities that they earn each and every year equal that $50,000. Now, Bill and Dee, Bill's only 66 years old. So basically what we did here is we eliminated from, uh, money being taken out of the IRA and put in this later bucket. Now this later bucket has a little faucet here, okay? And the whole idea behind this faucet is to turn it on when you need it and only pay, the, uh, only pay taxes on money you're spending. So let's see what's happening here. We have Bill and uh, Dee, they're spending 50, they're earning 90, so they're paying taxes on $40,000 that they're not spending. So what we've done is we've moved the IRA into the later bucket. On the capital gains, they're getting capital gains each and every year. So what we did is we looked at the issues that they could sell that they lost money on to offset the gains so they can get a zero on the capital gains. And the dividends, they realized they just didn't need those, so they moved them over into the later bucket through a deferral process. Okay? And then we looked at all the money they had in CDs or certificates of deposits. And you know what? All that was doing is moving up their tax return. So what they did is they kept the emergency money there and moved that interest income into the later bucket. And now they have the ability to turn that faucet on anytime they want to get that extra money they need. But the more important thing is this. Their adjusted gross income is $50,000. And because it's $50,000, they have standard deductions of $21,000, leaving $29,000 to be taxed. Now, what that's done for them is it's lowered the taxation on their Social Security down to 50%. And as a result, it saved this process saved them $7,000 a year in taxes. Now the big question is, what can you do with $7,000 a year? Can you go on another vacation? Could you pay for the kids' college? Could you pay off bills, buy a new car? It's all up to you. It's about redirecting the money that's falling through the cracks and directing it to where you want it to go. So that's the tip for the day. As always, if you have some specific questions about your personal situation or you'd like to have your tax return reviewed, you can go to sdentertainer.com or email me at steve at sex and advisory group or even call me personally at 1-800-560-2611. That's it for today. Remember, smart financial decisions do impact the quality of your life.